Imagine a situation where semiconductors stop working for a while. Your phones, laptops, computers, and smart TVs will go blank. Most cars will come to a screeching halt. Satellites will go incommunicado. Machines in operation theaters will freeze. Frightening, isn't it? Tiny semiconductors have huge responsibilities on their shoulders. They have become the backbone of modern electronics, also known as integrated circuits. They have the ability to conduct electricity more than insulators, but less than pure conductors, which allows them to play a pivotal role in more than one electronic function. In simple terms, semiconductors are materials that possess properties between those of conductors, such as metals, and insulators, such as glass or plastic. Most commonly used semiconductor material is silicon. Silicones are infused with boron or phosphorus gas to alter how they behave when electricity is passed through them. It turns a silicon into a vessel for billions of bits of information. Unlike conductors, which easily allow the flow of electric current, and insulators, which prevent its flow, semiconductors can conduct electricity under certain conditions but not as freely as conductors. The conductivity component of semiconductors can be altered by introducing impurities through a process called doping. By adding specific impurities, the semiconductor's electrical properties can be controlled. This includes the n-type that are doped with impurities containing extra electrons that make the semiconductor more conductive, and p-type, which are doped with impurities containing fewer electrons, such as boron, gallium, and aluminium. These holes create vacancies in the crystal lattice, making the semiconductor conductive in the opposite direction. The p-type semiconductors are used in electronic devices such as diodes and transistors. The push for semiconductor manufacturing in India has become critical to reduce the supply chain vulnerabilities and to avoid over-reliance on China. In 2022, the government launched a $10 billion Semiconductor Reduction Linked Incentive, or PLI scheme, and even offered 50% financial support for semiconductor fabs across technology nodes. However, despite numerous applications, the center struggled to find applicants that met its requirement for setting up a manufacturing plant. If you like this video, share it and subscribe to Business Standard. For more news, views, and insights, log on to www.business-standard.com. Do also follow us on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Telegram, and LinkedIn. She has ambitions of becoming a brand. Business Standard.